Hello, double O crew. Part two of this uh, fishing is therapy video. Got none other than the Mr. Masturbator with me. But yeah, we are gonna be, well, I'm gonna be targeting pickerel today. He's targeting whatever. So pretty much this year, this season, I have two target species. Let me take this damn thing off. Two target species for me. I'm going for my PB pickerel. I already got a citation, 24 inches. I'm going for a 30 inch pickerel this year. This year, I'm gonna get my big pickerel. Other than that, I gotta catch my first snakehead. So 2019, those are my two goldfish. I'm not even gonna focus on bass fishing. I'm mainly going for my big pickerel and snakehead. So today is day one of the pickerel search. I'm gonna be grinding it out this year. I fished for about, well, technically yesterday was day one. I fished for about six hours all day with lures. Didn't catch a dang thing. I hooked one pickerel about 17 inches, got off about three seconds into the fight. So today I'm back with live bait. See what kind of difference that makes. Try to uh, get my redemption here. Where Lock Raven Reservoir, down below the lower stand, it's technically the Big Gunpowder River. I do pretty well here this time of year in uh, the winter, February, January, February, March, for uh, chain pickerel. So we're gonna go down here, see what we get into. Hopefully, we can catch a giant. Let's do it. The rig I'm using today, just a simple slip bobber. Got a little hook down here. Slip bobber set about six foot deep. Like I said, uh, hopefully we can catch a chain pickerel or two. Hopefully some size to them too. Might even catch a nice bass, who knows? Even a brown trout maybe, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Let's see what we can do. All right guys, looks like I got my first take here. Either that or my creek chub is stuck on the bottom. Oh yeah, that's a fish. That's a nice fish too. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's a nice fish. Oh man, that's a nice fish. What is it? Please don't come off. Oh boy, that is a nice fish. Oh God. Oh God, what are you? Oh, hello, hello, what are you? Pickerel, beautiful. Oh, that's a nice one there. That's a nice one there. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. Come on, come on, come on. Don't snap me off. Okay, he's hooked good. He's hooked good. He's hooked good. Come on. Come on. Yes. Woo. That's a thick pickle right there. Beautiful. Oh, boy, boy, oh, boy. Oh, sorry if you guys didn't get most of that. Oh, all right. Easy there, easy there. Let's get this hook out real quick. Ah, that. Whew. That's a thick boy. Whoo, whoo, whoo. Yes. Ah. Locker even chain pickerel. Nowhere near the uh, length I'm after, but man, he's fat. I mean, look how thick his back is. Whew. That's like a three pound pickle right there. Three and a half. All right. I'm gonna get a quick measurement on him, on his length. Easy there, tiger. Luckily, uh, pickerel are pretty hardy fish, guys, in case you don't know, so. This shouldn't affect them. Uh, yeah, he's 22 inches on the dot. All right, let's get him back in the water. Oh, okay. Yes. Good to go. Ah, yes. Whew. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. And that, my friends, is why we come to Lock Raven Reservoir for a chain pickerel. 
pickerel paradise. That's what we call it. Where, just so you can see where we're at, right below the lower dam. Technically, this is the uh, Big Gunpowder River, the start of it, below the dam. But there's all moving water, and then it pulls up right here. This one piece of slack water. Uh, where we started was down that way, and it's all moving too fast. So pretty much from here, where them bubbles are, that little foot of foam up in the here is all slack water, and everything on the outside of it is moving. So I think they're schooled up. Hopefully, they're schooled up right here. That was the first cast, first fish. So we'll see if that was just a lucky cast or if we can get into some more. Man, that felt good. Nothing like catching your first nice fish of the season. Well, guys, it's been about an hour since I caught that one, and not even a nibble since. So I'm thinking I got lucky, threw it right in front of his face. And uh, I think we're gonna make a move up right below the dam. So early apologies for the audio quality because it's probably not gonna be so good with the loud water rushing. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go up there and try. And then if this is all we end up catching today, it was well worth it for me, I'm happy. Like I said, after fishing all those hours yesterday without anything except one little bite, and then that was it, to come out here and catch something on my first cast, let alone the first big fish of the year for me, that was uh, well worth it. So we're gonna go give up there a shot see how that goes got that one big pickerel so that's a great start to my pickerel hunt for this year the heaviest pickerel i've ever caught so i've already matched my or you know actually broke my pb in that sense just not not in length so uh yeah we're gonna wrap it up here today until next time get out there enjoy the outdoors peace